Here's another one of those not so exciting videos on taking things apart, one of which is pulling off flywheels. Get loads of grief with people trying to get them off, whether it be electric start, normal um, flywheels. Ends of the cranks are pretty soft, and a lot of the pullers have either got a pinpoint up the end or a bull nose flat end one. They all end up, if you've got a bit of a stubborn flywheel, they'll end up mushrooming in the end of the crank over. So here's a little tip that might help you out. So just to prove, I'll tighten this one up like so. So she's on there. We'll undo it. Now, a good tip is because they've got this recess hole in the end, you, that, that's where the problem starts. And as soon as it's mushroomed out, You've got no hope of getting a die on there and you're thread filing it, trying to get it to go on and just make a mess. So the key is, undo your nut. Oh, don't do that. Spin it on so she's level with the end of the thread, like so. Make sure your pullers is fully backed off. Thread it on right the way up to the gunnels. Like so and then wind down so you don't want it to fly in with your impact gun straight into the nose of the crank wind it up to touches we also actually put a dab of grease on the end i've not done it in the video but the dab of grease on it just helps it slide a little bit better pull it till it's just lifted back that off it won't obviously come off very far i think i hadn't even broken that one <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a retake on that get your impact gum it might not go uh straight away so we do a couple of shots so oh that went i felt that go so undo the puller we're doing it outside the engine because just because we can undo the nut and notice it spun straight off lift it off and away you go no damage to the end of the crank